Welcome to the Hot Cakes Podcast. I am your host, Kid Bagheera. This podcast is brought to you by Black Rain Books, and here we have Tattoos Inspired by Death. Uh, this is a fan favorite. This is one of my favorite ones, and it's basically just about why someone decided to get a particular tattoo based off someone who passed in their life. So if you haven't checked it out, be sure to do so. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it directly through me. Just shoot me a DM and I'll get it to you. But this is Cake 23 Bad Boys. So I'm about to pour up because this is going to be uh, uh how can I put it? It, 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 we, we, we gonna have us a conversation. We gonna have us a good old conversation. Now, out the gate, I'ma just say, if you haven't seen the new Bad Boys, you need to go see it. I'm making the claim right here, right now, that this is the best movie of 2024, point blank period. There will not be another movie that comes out this year that will be better than it. It just will not happen. I don't give a fuck. Now, will Beetlejuice rival it? Absolutely. Um, and obviously from, from a standpoint of nostalgia and you know the fact that we haven't had one in forever and we all love Jeannie Ortega. So or is it Jenna? I, I don't know. So, well, don't quote me on her name. But we all love Wednesday. That, that's who that's who she is now. She is now Wednesday. Like, she's no longer whatever her government name is. The name that her parents gave her, she's no longer that. She's Wednesday. Um, that is a legendary character, and she is murdering it. So that's that. But, speaking of legendary characters, <laughs> Marcus Burnett and Mike Lowry are also legendary characters. They are forever in our culture. So with all that being said, there will be no movie better than Bad Boys 4 this year. It is already the best movie of this year. And we're only, we're at the halfway point. We're six months in. Uh, and I can't even think of any other movie that could rival it. Um, and, and you know, give it a little run for the money and yada, yada, yada. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, like I said, Beatles just the only, but I know it's another movie coming out in either September or October. That's like another big movie, but I can't remember and I'm not going to worry about it. So with that being said, like I said, Bad Boys 4 is the best movie of the year. We're going to drink to that. Now, Lil Bro is on the record saying it is the greatest movie of, movie of all time. I ain't got no pushback. He's also saying it is the best bad boys. Now, in the movie, before leaving, the women that were sitting next to us said the same thing. My wife said the same thing. For me, it's between four and two. That's just me. Now, as I've been replaying it, I think I'm only saying two because I've watched it so many times. I've been watching it for 20 years. So it's hard to let go of that. You know what I mean? And just with what two represented, it set it up for four. So it's either gonna be four, two or two, four regardless. Number one is three. And three is four. Three, I don't even like three. Um, but after watching four, it makes sense. And even though four is still kind of like on the heels of three, it just is what it is and it all makes sense. Like it just, it just is what it is. So for me, it's like they can make another one and I know it'll be good. But uh, for me, just, just let it go. At this point, just let it go. And that's that. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of parts from the first three came back around. So it's kind of like a full circle moment. 
and it's a lot of parts in there where you just like god damn you know what i mean and, uh, obviously it just came out so i'm not trying to give any spoilers but y'all gotta go fucking see this shit like um and when you see the preview you think certain parts are like later in the movie but no like it's from the gate like it is it's not any slow moment and, and none of them have been slow like they always just the whole movie you know what i mean but it's something about this one where it's like a lot of comedy and obviously action whereas especially like with the first two like the first two have like that one scene that's just funny as fuck like the first one freeze mother bitches and then the second one when reggie came to pick up the daughter you know what i mean like those were the two funny parts right even though with martin and will throughout the whole movie shit is hilarious and obviously the parts with fletcher right but those aren't necessarily comedies they're actions like this one oh my goodness it is hilarious just funny as fuck so like i said I can't decide between four and two. Um, and I'm not going to argue if you say four is the best one. I'm not. So don't argue me or anybody else who says two is the best one. You got to remember, we've been watching two for 20 years. It's hard to let that go. You know what I mean? To really sit there and analyze and be like, is is four better? You know what I mean? Um, But four was on one like dying laughing in the movie just looking and, and watching all the action just ooh and the on like they did their motherfucking thing with this one you know what i mean and like that's why i'm like just let it go because it was easy to top three in my opinion because i didn't like three you know what i mean and now after watching four it's like can y'all really top this shit like, I'm not saying they can't, you know what I'm saying? Because any competitor and anyone serious about their craft is going to accept the challenge. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happens, happens, but I'm going to accept the challenge. And I know both of them will accept the challenge. And nine times out of ten, they already started working on the script for the fifth one. Um, and we were talking about that a little bit what the fifth one may be about but again i'm not gonna give any spoilers um y'all just gotta go see that motherfucker man like man and i found out i think last week that bad boys was not even for martin and will it was for i i I can't remember his name. Um, he got that weird ass voice. I think he's Jewish. I'm not really sure about that part, but I'm trying to think of a movie y'all would know him from. Y'all ever seen the great white hype Saul? Him. Um, he's been a recurring character on The Simpsons but never the same character. He was Marge's art teacher. Um, he was the, he owns a nuclear, nuclear power plant that rivals Mr. Burns in Shelbyville. Uh, who else was he? He was some other character. He's been like four or five characters. So it's him. So if y'all know who I'm talking about, it's him. So the original one was for him and some other white guy and those two ended up falling out and then it got to martin so martin invited will over for dinner and presented the movie to him the idea and you know will wanted to read the script and martin was like no you cannot read the script it's horrible and seeing the two that it was supposed to be for i know the script was horrible because it was supposed to be like some type of comedy for real for real so obviously when you have two actors 
that are at the top of their game at that time, they're not doing that. No. We're going to change it. We're going to have some comedy, obviously, but, you yeah, know, we're not doing this. So, thankfully, those two fell out, and we got what we got. And we have a masterpiece of a franchise. I'll put bad boys up against any franchise. I don't want to hear no Star Wars shit. I don't want to hear no Star Trek shit. I don't want to hear no Lord of the Rings. I don't want, I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. Twilight, whatever. I don't, I don't want to hear none of it. Bad Boys is at the top, point blank, period. We're not talking black movies. We're not talking white movies. We're talking movies, period. We ain't, we're not even going to put the black on it. We not. Because it's at the top of movies, period. Um... And even though as we watched all these movies as they came out, it's like, God damn, they're taking too long to come out. But it all makes sense. And if they really plan for it to be like this, <sighs> hats off to them. You know what I'm saying? Because it just all makes sense as we've gotten to this point. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm just so glad that four didn't take that long to come out after three. I think only two years, I think. The third one came out in 22, if I'm not mistaken. 22? Yeah, I think so. 22, yeah, yeah. So, or 21, whatever. Either way, two to three years is normal, right? Typically, when you drop one and you know you're doing a sequel, the second one's going to come out in two years. Um, and that third one may take a little time or it may never come out, whatever. But, again, so if they do a fifth it'll probably come out 26 or 27 um but for me they they, they can just leave it like it is it's good so man y'all gotta go see it because i want to talk about it so bad oh it is so fucking good so good so good so good and yeah so like i said ranking them two four one three or it's either four, two, one, three. Like, we know for a fact one and three is three and four. The one and two part, we just don't know if it's two or four. So, when y'all see four, y'all let me know how y'all rank them. That's my rank. Two, four, one, three. That's, that's what I'm going with. Even though... Four, four just might be better than two. It just might. But like I said, I've been watching it for 20 years. I can't let it go. And maybe I need to let go of the past, but it, it's hard to. But that is that. Go see the movie. It is a banger. Trust me. It is the money worth it. Whatever you spend. I think we spent about... $60, three tickets, large popcorn, two large drinks. Madre, she doesn't really do anything at the movie, so I think it was about 60 for all of that. So it was money well spent, worth every dime. I do it all over again. I'll do it tomorrow. I ain't got to work, but 